What's up, Spren here. Uh, welcome back to another B-roll. Today we're going to be going and skating the M12s. Again, the beautiful Joe Ackersons that I super, super like. <laughs> I haven't really skated them too much yet. Uh, I've done a few skates off camera and they've been a lot of fun. A lot of, I felt really good so far. I really like the skate. Uh, but I haven't skated any rail yet. So today I'm hoping to change that. We're going to go do some street. Let's go do that. So these skates, they haven't been perfect changing to them it hasn't been perfect I've definitely had some pressure points which I was really worried about so I mean put off from getting these skates uh, I've had pressure points on my non-dominant foot it's mainly on my little toe which is weird uh, it's kind of like the if you ever skated a uh, rims OS uh, when they got old they used to squish your little toe the little buckle this is similar after about like an hour and a half, my little toe on my left foot starts to get, feel squished. I'm hoping that um, that kind of breaks in. That's why I don't really want to do the review yet. Oh, so I'm hoping after today, I'll have a better view on what the skates are like. And yeah, hopefully they don't kill my toe, but we'll see. But I do really like them, despite that. Just like super responsive. All right. So there's a couple of ledges around. I don't know if they slide very well. We're gonna give it a go. Um, my toe kind of already hurts, not gonna lie. Uh, it's a really good day, so I'm kind of hyped. Let's go do it. So I'm gonna show you around first person first. Um, just to double back on the bag. When I did the review, I said it was uncomfortable. I did just walk about five minutes to get here and it's still uncomfortable, even though everyone told me just to tighten it. Maybe I'm the only one that does a lot of work walking with their bag, but I don't know. There's definitely something weird about the straps. Doubling down on that. Let's go have a look at the spot. <laughs> so this is a spot here, these ledges. Seem like they'll slide. At least a little bit. The spot's like where all the sketch people hang out, so I want to be quick. Do a nice little soul. It's a little confusing, there's so many, so many short and tappy. <laughs> Just waiting for that to happen. This spot kind of sucks. Super tappy, it's so boring. <laughs> so boring. We need one more line and we'll dip, eh? Let's just see what happens. <laughs> so boring. Lame spot. So short and tappy and boring, geez. I don't know, let's look for another spot. So this spot here, these stairs. This is what the skaters always skate. And I kind of get it. It's definitely a skateboarder spot, but you know, we can give it a go. Ground shot. I think it's something like that, you know? Let's get that and move on. Counts right. All right, let's find a better spot. All right, so we're venturing into like the campus part of this park. There used to be a rail down here. No, you can't see. But I used to skate the spot all the time. I was the only one who ever skated this little flat rail. It was so fun. But then one day someone broke it, and now it's gone. It's a ripper good spot. It's still got some skater boot stuff there. You can't see anything, but there's a little park down there. Maybe we'll go check it out. Let's go check it out. Oh my 
my lord. They used to have like um this flat rail they used to come. They lived right next door so I could just jump out the window. See if I could see if anyone's there and come down and skate this rail like every, like almost every week. It was great. I was the only one who ever skated the rail and then someone broke it now it's gone. And now this spot's really gone downhill. It's like part of a high school, which is pretty cool. I wish my high school had something that I could skate at lunch. That would have been amazing. But there's like nothing left now. There used to be like 20 things. Now there's only a tiny little box and broken ass little quarters. We'll get something just for old time's sake, then we'll move on to the real spot. Yeah. <laughs> So much for street skating. <laughs> this is how I skate, so. <laughs> so skate. Yeah, let's just get a half cab manual. <laughs> Salt. This is sad. That'll do. Okay, let's go to the real spot. Yeah, okay, real skating's coming. Hang in there. I grew up in a park with only ledge, but I'm definitely a rail skater these days. This, probably because of this rail here. I skated a lot, but yeah. Let's give it a go. Wax it just in case. Okay, I think it's gonna be too fast now. I'm scared. Definitely scared, yeah. <laughs> so I've skated zero rail on these skates, and it's putting me off. <laughs> I wish I had a little P-Rail to skate. This is a little P-Rail, right? I don't know. But yeah, I did grow up skating ledge. But I found a love for rail after really giving it a go. There's something about actually being able to... You can actually just hold grind so much easier on rail. Hence that. That being said, I don't know what to do. Front side? Front side's probably safer there. That being said, make sure you get your front side in for back to Blaine's challenge, right? Just do it, Brian. <laughs> the front side, I can do it. Like the first ever grind on roll blades. Oh, that's fun. I remember why I like this spot. Just check the angle one sec. Alright, so you can see. That was fun. Uh, I definitely feel ground shock in these skates. I know I said I didn't really at first, but I definitely do. There's definitely a bit of ground shock in the heels. Nothing too bad though. Um, it's better than my thems for sure. Because the thems had that weird dent in the heel. That used to hurt. It's just, it feels flat, which is good. It's doing new, you know? Same thing. This run up kind of sucks. <laughs> I was scared, man. I shouldn't have waxed it, it's so slippery. Nope. I definitely don't know the groove yet, but I can get away with Nugans without getting in the groove, which is different for skating flat. Normally you can't, so. I'm impressed still. On rail, I mean on lead you can't get away with doing that. On rail you can. So it was 
one. I kind of want to bring in some GoPro for you. <laughs> the groove definitely is different. Like it's way more tweaked than I'm used to. But I couldn't even front nugan in my limbs. It was so scary. So definitely preferring these. Just realized I probably covered the screen with my hand. Just Let's try that again. <laughs> Feels good there. Feels real good. I like it. What about a switch up? Let's try my go-to switch up. Front Nugent top so. I don't know if I trust that on these, but let's find out. Oh my god. I don't trust that at all, that was so scary. It's definitely not the same as on razors where I can just turn on that one foot. Mainly because I don't trust it I think, but let's give that another go. It's a cool rail. I'm really liking these skates. They're just so responsive. Compared to them, they just feel like my feet. They don't feel like some giant thing in my foot. You know? Where's the top sole? Oh, come on. This doesn't go in the groove. They could go. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> I have never missed that trick before. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know. That could have been a lot worse, though. I'm not really feeling doing it again, but we're going to give it a go. Move on then. <laughs> So that's why you wear a helmet, right? <laughs> Even though I didn't hit my head. Yes, that there just shows I do not trust this groove yet, but we're gonna give it one more go. Cause this this is a trick that I would say I never I never used to miss. Never miss it, it was my safest switch up. Like it's the only switch up I would ever trust on everything. God cut my hand a little bit. But it's because of like I don't get right in that nugan. It's weird, I like went on the frame, like rolled it. It's like it was in then it I don't know. It was bad. <laughs> it's <was> very bad. <laughs> but we're right. You know? It's all a trust thing. <laughs> it's just, oh man. <laughs> I've done like a full flip, you know. <laughs> At least that's fun, right? <laughs> Alright. I still like these skates despite that. Just saying. Okay. So I think my problem is I land front side like that. I don't land in the groove, so it's, I have to find the groove before I can switch up. Which is pretty lame. I don't know, we'll give it one more go. Then we'll move on so you don't have to just watch me do nugans over there. I don't have to try it, otherwise I'll lose it. 
can't get that foot. Can't get my front foot in the groove. I like do not want to do it. See how much I don't trust it now. We move on. I've got that feeling in my stomach when I'm gonna get hurt. <laughs> so frustrating, yeah. I know I said one more. <laughs> we gonna know it's the biggest line. Okay, we'll move on. Back where we are. Okay, I'm gonna need some stalls. There's just like this little gap here. These little gaps always just put me off, I know why, but... Back where we are. Yeah, we got that. There we go, that's better. Change the angle up. Now, I did really want to get a top side before I go. But this rail always scared me a lot for top sides. Mainly because it's very high on one side, very low on the other. Very high on the side, I'd fall if I miss a top side. But I'm going to give it a go before we get out of here. Uh, I'll switch your angle up. Wish me luck. I'm not feeling too good after that fall. That was feeling in my stomach like I'm just kind of scared now. Wish I was skating somewhere. <laughs> but anyway. We can do it, I believe. Done it before. I just really want to know what these skates are like to do top sides and soul tricks on rail because they haven't been able to see yet. And I know the Thems, I just wasn't a fan of it, so I'm hoping these will be better. Um, an update though, still haven't had any foot pain yet. It's been quite a while now too, so maybe I've broken in. We'll see after this, I guess. Okay, I'll give you a new angle. Alright, I'm home now. I'm sorry, that was probably the worst skate of my life. And damn, the whole like filming and public thing still getting to me and I hate it. I just want to get past it. Why can't I get past it? It ruins the videos. Oh no, we'll get there this year. This, year, this is going to be the year. Okay, the year where everything gets better. <laughs> um, anyway, if you've somehow made it to the end again, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to reward you by telling you my overall feeling of the M12 skate at this point. Uh, so far, I'm super happy with it. I really like it. Uh, this is the first bad skate I've had with it so far. I've skated it, probably skated them like four times now. Um, every other skate's been so good. I've had such a good skate. Uh, I've chucked a clip in here. I've been skating with Slug, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm going to post up a Patreon video of all the behind the scenes of these clips. They're all for a VOD I'm working on. They haven't even started editing yet, but yeah so if you want to check those out check my patreon out so the only problems i'm having with the skate so far is yeah the, the toe problem where it's squishing my toe a little bit it's only a little bit as well like i don't feel like i have to take my skate off but it's definitely there and it really it's i feel it a lot more when i do like switch grinds which is weird uh, but my right foot feels absolutely fine um and just the overall feeling of the skate i just really like it. it's super responsive like, um, I just feel in control of that foot. Uh, obviously, I'm not after that bail today, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I still got to test it on rail, I guess. It's the only thing I'm missing, rail and quarter, I guess. But um, yeah, it's been really good, really good on wedge and just to skate around. It's really fun to just do different stuff, you know. It's really inspiring, you know. It's really fun and I really enjoy them. Um, I honestly think... This might be the first time I'll be able to say I recommend to skate over the Razor SL. But it all depends on whether I get super confident on it again. You know, like, um, the fact that I missed that Nugent to top so today says, you know, maybe that won't be a thing because I have only missed that trick once before on Razors. Only once. Never missed that switch up. It was so safe for me. And now I'm super scared of it. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll get there. But yeah, oh, the only other problem too I have with the skate is the liner. There's like a weird fold in the back of the liner. 
and I do feel it on the back of my foot and it, I think it's going to give me a blister eventually but who knows I heard these liners break in so maybe it'll get better uh, expect a better look at this when I do an actual review which should be soon I'll try compare them to the M's too so far though definitely prefer them a hundred million times over the M's um, the only thing that's making me not regret getting them is the fact that it's such a good company. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned, there should be some better videos coming. Uh, I really want to start some tutorials too, but I just, still have, I just haven't found the spot to film them at yet. New shout out to my patrons, Deb, Dennis, and Fabian. And I'll see you guys. I don't know, sometime. Peace. Yeah.